Greetings, greetings in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus one more time. Such a great honor and privilege to be coming back into your home another time. Behind prison bars, at hospital rooms, in hospital rooms that is, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you are. Once again, this is your friend, Bishop Dr. Julian Fagan, and we're coming to you from the office of Bishop Mary Church of God, the Voices of Vision. And I just want to say thank you for all of your comments, for all of your shares. Thank you for your inboxes. I just want to say you're such a great sport and I enjoy, praise God, hearing from you, praise the Lord. But most of all, I just, I am just so grateful to know that God has called me into this marvelous, marvelous light for such a time as this. And um, as usual, in case you're hearing a little talking out there, well, you know, we're here in church. I'm in the office and learning Zoom is going on right now. And I just felt like I would just stop by and just give you a brief word. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You know, we have a lot of people that from time to time talking about faith. You know, you, you know, you'll always hear people saying how they have faith. But at the end of the day, do you really have faith? You understand? You see, faith is not based on your mental ascent. It's not just based on your intellect. It's not just based on how much head knowledge you have. That's not faith. That is your knowledge. That's your own your, your own ability. Faith is when you can trust God, believe His Word, take about His Word, even when you can't see the thing, even when you don't understand how it's going to turn out, how it's going to work out. Um, something deep down inside of you that has been planted and has been embedded in you is talking about the Word of God. You stand on the promises of God. You believe the Word of God. If the Word of God, when the Word of God says, by His stripes you were healed, it's not that you're going to be healed, but you're already healed. You know, even though you're saying, but yeah, but I'm still sick. Guess what? Faith will arise in you and say, listen, even though the full manifestation has not come out as yet, you are already healed. You are already healed. And you it's for you now to exercise, exercise, meaning you continue to speak the word of God over your health, over your circumstances, over your situation, over your children, over your business, over your ministry, praise God, over, over your marriage. You continue to speak not what you see happening, not things that are, but things that were. And so you begin to drag things into existence because of your faith. Yes, my friend. And so I just wanted to encourage you to let you know that it's time that you exercise, you know, just like a fist, like your physical body. If you don't exercise your muscles, we get what we call atrophy. They begin to, va to waste the weight. So you've got to exercise. If you, how do you exercise it? Continue to water. Continue to speak. Continue to say. Not what you see happening with your natural eyes, but continue to speak. Continue to say what you want to happen until it is manifested in your life. Until it is manifested in your circumstances and in your situation. What it is you need God to do for you. Continue to speak it. What it is that you're desiring. What it is in your heart that you would like to happen for you. Speak it. Speak it. You know, majority of the things that I do are the majority of the things that happens when it comes to ministry, business, finances. Otherwise, you know, it is because of my faith. Praise God. It is because of my faith. And I'm so grateful to know, praise God, that I can share with you these few words. Until next time, this is your friend. Shalom.